And the man charged with murdering his girlfriend at an apartment complex in El Centro was back in court for a preliminary hearing. Karina Basarte was at the hearing and shares some of the new details she learned about this, this case in court. Yeah, the room was packed with not only the victim's family, but the defendant. As you can imagine, emotions ran high as several witnesses took the stand to speak about the tragic day 18-year-old Emily Padilla was shot and killed. Police say 19-year-old Anthony Hernandez murdered 18-year-old Emily Padilla on June 26th of last year. Around four people took the stand to testify, including the first officer at the scene of the crime. During his testimony, El Centro Police Officer Thomas Henderson said he saw the defendant running away from the apartment complex and saw him throw a rifle over a wall. Officer Henderson said he put Hernandez in handcuffs and in his police car. He added the defendant was screaming, saying, quote, I need to get to my girl. The second person to testify was a detective, Alfredo Hernandez. During his testimony, Hernandez said he spoke with the mother and sister of the defendant. Detective Hernandez said the defendant's sister said Padilla and Hernandez were having a good time in the defendant's bedroom when she heard one single gunshot. And that's when Hernandez started screaming to call 911. Detective Hernandez said the defendant's sister started CPR on Padilla and tried to save her life. During the testimony, we also learned Padilla was shot in the torso area and the bullet exit her back. We were able to speak to the victim's sister outside the courthouse and she shared her thoughts. I wasn't okay. Um, it was hard to hear what happened to her. And it was hard to see things that I did not want to see. And it just sucks because she passed on my birthday. And her birthday is on June 29th, and mine is June 26th, and that's when she passed. And we always celebrate our birthdays together. And it's just the fact that, like, I had to go. And, like, instead of spending it with her, I'm, I'm doing this. The district attorney's office was able to tell us what comes next after the preliminary hearing. After it is over, uh, there can be two possibilities. Either the case is dismissed because we didn't prove it, or uh, the defendant is bound over on felony charges as he is charged right now. And Hernandez is facing four felony counts, including murder and possession of a deadly weapon. Reporting from El Centro, I'm Karina Basarte.